Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So we are having a look at the Milan Mini GPS bike computer. Now I have a bike, I may use it on the bike, but I bought this off AliExpress, it was relatively inexpensive. Uh, the intention was to use it with my RC car collection. So I have been using the Sky RC GSM 015 GNSS speed meter, GPS speed meter, different networks. And I bought this when it was an offer on Banggood. I got a really good price on it. Overall, fair Sky IC products I've been disappointed in. Um, clip broke off the back, just taking the back off. Um, it's not waterproof if you take it out in wet weather it fills with water to Sky RC's credit though um, once it was dried out it continued to work um, from brand new I've had issues with the battery with this it doesn't hold the charge very long and um, takes a long long time to build up any charge which is uh, very unusual but it's only a cheap one this battery I could probably get another one for a couple of quid and some postage uh, feature wise I, I did like it you know if it's, we've got a little bit of charge in it now I don't know if you can see the screen it's difficult to read the screen in strong light we've got lots of different modes time mile per hour peak mile per hour you can have it in kilometers if you want average speed altitude peak altitude um, trip meter distance um, so you know it's 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 quite good uh, from the features and it's easy to use there's an enter button a mode button and on off um, and obviously you can connect a um, external plug and record the results externally um, obviously it's just gone off now because the battery is flat but you know I mean it's steady it's well made but I, I think for if you're an RC car basher you're probably better off with the little one without the screen that you run with a phone app you can actually buy 3d printed holders for them um, I think if you're a drone user and it's going to be used in the dry it's pretty light up in a drone in the sky I think it'd do a, a good job but my opinion overall for the uh, IC is um, even though I got it cheap about 40 early 40s 40 quid um, I've been very disappointed with this but I would think the one that uh, like Tomley RC uses, I'm not affiliated with him, but check out his channel, it's a great channel. Um, it's uh, been disappointing, but mainly this, this this battery, there's a little door here, I've got it taped up, in fact I'll show you. little door here, I've had to tape it up because the clips come off, without any rough usage I might say as well. I'll just take the little door off, it just slides off like this. He says, not being able to now get the door off. There we go. And so it's only one of these little lipos, little two pin GST plug or whatever the tape is on it. So I could probably easily replace the lipo, but it's been it's been poor and failing from, from brand new the lipo battery. So a bit of a disappointment. It's a long time to charge. It doesn't hold the charge for very long. Um, I think if I had another battery in it, I'd probably give it a seven and a half out of ten uh, but with the battery that's in it that's been a problem I'm assuming that's not how it's supposed to be it's probably only a 5.5 but as far as speed readings go it was good disappointed that the screen's very dim in bright light and that sort of thing but for some of that that costs 50 or quid normally um, I, I, I think I've let the side down with this one of, of uh, Sky RC but uh, there we go anyway on to the bike one I've not even opened this yet. I have seen a red one in the flesh. A friend of mine has one. Um, wasn't expensive. It was under £15. Could have been under £10. My memory is shocking, as you know. It does distance, altitude, speed. It's got built-in GPS. History, current time, odometer, USB rechargeable. Made in China. Um, let's have a look at it. So it's opening the box and get it out. I've ordered the black one. Looks like a little stopwatch. And uh, from using Rob's, I understand that uh, 
These are the menu buttons as well. That one's power on and off. Whether there's any charge in it, there we are. Now that display is far better than the one on the Sky RC. Obviously you've got to set the time, the date, the functions, kilometres an hour. And there's all the main screen, so... I've yet to read the instructions. This is the first time I've taken out the box. Distance, altitude. So it does everything that the Sky One does. Um, it's got a little screw clamp. I can't remember whether I ordered it with a clamp or not. Uh, obviously, I guess that's a reset button. Nice little waterproof bunk for the USB. It's meant to be waterproof as well. It's designed for cycling. And it's got a 4,000, uh, 400 milliamp hour battery. Doesn't say what type. Um, I don't know what it says on the box, does it? I don't know. USB rechargeable. I don't. I don't know what the battery type is. So let's have a look. What else is in the box? We've got some instructions. We've got a series of rubber bands. Now these, I am guessing, that it does come with a mounting. Will be to mount the mounting on your bike. So it, uh, if this was mounted to your bike or your RC car with the rubber bands, it's a, a lock fit. And that's a good firm fit it's got rubber on the back I would imagine it'd be quite easy to attach this to a RC car with a couple of tie wraps all the rubber bands included I'll probably try it on my bike as well a little indicator LED obviously I've not read the instructions so I don't know what that's for I'm not sure you can see that in the camera in this corner here where my thumb is there you are there is little LED it's a lot clearer when you're looking at the uh, device and it comes with a charging cable as well and it's USB type type B that's the one that only goes in one way around so let's have a quick look at the instructions They're well printed and uh, you get a QR code to have a look at the manuals in other uh, languages got an introduction it's got a backlight on the screen as well um, setting up the mount and everything English so I think overall these are these are good instructions I say I've seen Rob's in action oh it's a lithium battery um, I think you know I IPX IPX5 waterproof I think this will possibly be quite a good little bit of kit when we get it up and running so next time we're out bashing we'll get this mounted to one of the RC cars or for that matter I might even take it for a ride out on my bike and we'll let you know how it performs Meanwhile, thanks for watching. We're looking at a bike one compared to an RC one, but I think this is more focused on drones and cars, which I'm not a flyer. Um, the feel and the quality of this is brilliant. Um, I'm really impressed. So thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, please share, and uh, please tell all your friends. Uh, there's no profit on this channel. I don't make any money. It's just grassroots RC. Anything you see is mine or borrowed from mates. Um, we just try to show you things that we've bought, that we think are useful, cars that we like, modifications that we've done. Please check out the other videos. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you all soon. Thanks now.